Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're gonna be talking about rest and recovery. Why your rest days is actually some of your best days. It's a beautiful thing. You gotta love it. All right, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor. You know, ring the bell, tell a friend, you know, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, you know, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. And you know, this video is very, um, you know, and it was inspirational to me because, um, you know, when you go hard at the gym, you sometimes forget about how important it is to wanna, you know, just take it easy and just be. And, you know, when you're becoming your best version in the beginning, it might seem like you gotta just, you know, just full throttle, drop the, you know, drop, pop the clutch and just, just keep going and just don't, you know, tunnel vision on your uh, passion. And, you know, if you wanna have the results and the gains, you know, you're gonna wanna put in the time. But that being said, you get lost in that, you know, like, um, it's like you, you get lost in that train of just you know every day day in and day out and you forget that you got to actually have time to breathe man and a lot of growth actually occurs when you're you know when you're sleeping and when you're away from what you love now if you're a beginner you know you don't go to the gym and you know you're just gonna like obviously you're gonna want to take uh you know you're gonna want to Put it into your system that you are you know this is who you are because fitness is a lifestyle it's not just about you know going to the gym it's about you know marking it in as this is part of who i am now this is what i do like fitness is not just a you know an overnight thing where it's just like all right now you know i, I go to the gym and then i'm built it's no it's everything man it's the you know your it's not just uh your your body because your body is the you know it's part of your mind and your mind and your physical manifestation you know are you part of your creation and you know if you look into you know getting uh, biblical and you know you, you gotta have there's gotta be a rest day man you know like you look in uh, the catholic religion sundays are like automatic day of rest um thinking you know you got uh the shomer shabbos shomer shabbos saturdays you know, sorry, I couldn't resist that, man, you know, love Big Lebowski, uh, but yeah, you got to basically, you know, and speaking of that, you got to chill, man, you got to take, you got to have those easy days, man, and, you know, it's just so easy to just want to just keep going, like, when you're just dedicated to your vision, and all that's going to do, man, is, you know, it's going to give you that push, but that push could be, you know, a violent, um, you know, it could be something very detrimental to you if you don't properly, you know, just take the time to just exist, man. And um, you got, like I said, man, you got to understand that as soon as you, you know, as soon as soon as you go off, you know, your your uh, your schedule, it's gonna like throw you off, man. And I know that feeling. It's like, okay, I didn't go to the gym today. It's like, ah, oh, you know, it's like you're used to going like, all right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Next thing you know, Thursday, you had a break out of nowhere. And you want to be a guy that goes five, six, seven days in a row. And sometimes you end up going where you did like 15, like, you know, 15 or so days just hard. And you didn't have time to recover. And all it takes is like, you know, one, just like just one slip. And you throw everything off that you've been working for. And, uh, you know, the universe is always there to, you know, test you. You know, um, I actually got inspired by this, um, for this, by watching, uh, you know, Calum Van Munger. You know, the guy from Oles, and he played, Ar you know, he played Arnold in a movie. And, you know, that guy, uh, you know, obviously hardcore bodybuilder, you know, trying to, you know, he's being his, he's being his best version. And. You know, sure enough, you know, he got, you know, ex excited one day and, you know, he tore a bicep. Next thing you know, um, he was, he wasn't fully recovered and his brother wanted him to go, you know, to go, go repelling down a mountain. And after he did that, his uh, bicep wasn't uh, fully recovered 
he slipped and not only did he re-tear his bicep, he uh, ended up tear, you know, breaking his knee. So now the guy couldn't, uh, he couldn't train at all. Like his training just went like out the door because he didn't properly give himself a chance to like to recover. And that's, you know, an eye-opening thing. You know, if you don't, if you don't give yourself the time to just be, you know, the universe will check you. And when that happens, that's where you're gonna have to go within and figure out like, all right, what do I do now without the gym? You know, cause you gotta go beyond fitness, man. Fitness is only part of your existence. You know, it's the lifestyle that you wanna be a physically fit person, but you wanna be able to live and you gotta, you know, get out of the autopilot um, mindset of just, you know, I have to go or I have to do this. It's like, you know, if you got, you gotta rest too. And, if you don't fully re fully recover and you go hard next thing you know you're out of it for six months or three months or whatever and all for what just because your ego wanted you to keep you know just keep on a path that you you just have to keep you know i got to keep going i got to keep following this it's like if i don't you know that's where you're gonna you know you're gonna make mistakes and that's why i definitely recommend you know just finding the time to rest and it might not it might come out of the you know the middle of the week when you're not feeling it it just comes out of nowhere and you're just like you know what i gotta take this opportunity to really catch up on some sleep i'm tired today why not man i'm just gonna take it easy you know and just because you know you're on a rest day or whatever that doesn't mean you have to like you know do nothing but sometimes doing nothing is an important move man you know especially when you're a physically active person where you're constantly doing something day in and day out you may you might want to do something more like um you know like read a book or something or something that uh it's more of a hobby like you know play you know play an instrument or you know just something that's not as physical as what you usually would do like and even taking a walk you know it's something beneficial you know just to kind of go clear your mind um but just sitting back and relaxing and understanding that you know the muscles are going to make gains you're going to be making progress along the way and like my shoulders are sore today man it's like you know i i went hard at the gym and i'm just like you know i had a night where i'm like you know what it's time to you know have a have have a pizza party with my gang you know my wolf and my bear and just kind of just chill out today and you know that's where you understand that your mind is the wielder of muscle you got to chill you got to relax um and the thing that always comes to my mind is like you, you get that guilt trip where um you know like you, you feel bad about oh, okay i didn't go to the gym and then you're gonna eat pizza and it's just like i'm not saying that anybody should do that like every day or whatever but you know if you haven't done it you know in a while it's something that you're gonna have to do especially if it's something that you love man it's just like you gotta throw it into your body you know your body you can't you can't like make something that you once loved that you know foreign to you all of a sudden you know you don't want that that's just no good for nobody you want to at least be acclimated where when you throw this in you it ain't gonna throw you off you know it's like i'm just saying like if you went like vegan all of a sudden and then all of a sudden reintroduced a pepperoni pie and like you know who knows what that that can do that's a whole nother topic of discussion but what i'm just saying is you got to be able to enjoy the rest days and you know just not think so hard about what you know think so hard about that you're not eating the best food today but you got to put in your mind that you know you gotta go with the positive affirmations inside that i'm so happy and grateful that i have a high metabolism my body burns fat and builds muscle abundantly i can eat whatever i want whenever i want and gain only lean muscle mass i am so happy and grateful you gotta put positive mantras in your mind so this way whenever you're eating you're not going to have that guilt trip where it's like it, it, you, you feel thrown off and that's what like that's really what i'm getting at with the whole like gym gym rant mentality gym bro fitness the addict fit not just going every day hard like you know it puts you in that zone where you feel guilty for having a cookie or having you know having something that you would normally do put the cookie down now i felt you know I felt compelled for that, man. I'm just, uh, 
you know, I'm waking up after sleeping a good amount. You know, I had some vivid dreams last night. And I just felt really compelled to come out here and just start talking about the importance of recovery and, uh, you know, taking it easy. Because sometimes the best things you do are the things that you ain't doing, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, recovery is definitely where a lot of growth can occur. You're going to feel better about what you do. You're going to just feel... You know, you're going to feel that you made the right move when you set the proper intention. You got to make your rest day, like, you know, somewhat sacred. You know, I mean, the holy day, man. This is a day of rest. This is a day to help you, you know, release the stress, make you your best. And, you know, just really, in, you really enjoy the moment, man. Don't just sit there and just be all, um, you know, just alone with your thoughts. Like, well, I'm doing, I should be working out today. And, if that's what you feel like you really should be doing, then you know what? Then by all means, go hit the gym, go do something, do some calisthenics in the house, do some yoga, do some stretching. Because technically, you know, there's always something that you could do every day. You know, that, you know, you, that's for sure. You know, you can always do some form of fitness, even on your rest day. But I'm saying there's, there's going to be certain rest days that you can't, that you should not do anything except for just be and just enjoy the moment, you know, have some, uh, you know, have some ice cream, hang out with your friends, just hang out with yourself, vibe out, just chill. And it's gonna definitely not only um, just help your mind, it's gonna help you be able to be more motivated the next time you go inside the gym and get into like, you know, you're gonna find like, hey, you know, this is what I love doing. I love working out every day. And the reward is being able to work out. You know, the reward is being able to, you know, walk in the door of the gym, be able to go on that run, be able to, you know, just be the best version that you can, you know. And fitness, like I said, it's not just, um, you know, uh, some uh, overnight uh, magic pill to just make you feel like, you know, I mean, it is magic and it is beautiful. But it's not just for making you... Um, you know, just all of a sudden just be fit and like this, you got to do or you don't exist. You know, everything disappears. You know, that's the, that's the biggest ego trip of it all, man. Like you just feel like if you don't get, if you don't do your fitness, you're not going to be the best you that you can. But when you really learn to utilize the rest day, it makes you, you know, really appreciate every day that you go hard at the gym. And if anything, you come back from the rest day feeling recovered feeling more motivated than ever because it's like all right I, you know i had that rust i'm gonna come in here and do my best it doesn't mean that you gotta you know definitely you know like um you know stress stress out and you know go too hard but just go to what feels right you know your body's your own meter you don't you know working out is about you know being you know being healthy and just being the best version you can be and that's what I'm all about, man. So, you know, I'm a spiritual mentor, a coach. You know, I got the big cock. Uh, <laughs> got my hair going, man. I got the big cock consciousness, the big cock collective. Oh, yeah. Where I teach people how to make their penises bigger, thicker, wider, longer, stronger, and harder. Um, that's what my page is dedicated to. I want you to be your best version. Teach people how to naturally release human growth hormone and, you know, naturally raise your testosterone. Um, you know, and definitely getting that sleep where you release that uh, DMT, having them vivid, beautiful, just motions and notions and just feeling that growth occur is a beautiful thing. And, you know, just telling you out there, if you never, you know, if you're a if you're a fitness addict and you're going hard every day, you know, learn from Caleb, learn from people that made the mistakes. You got to step back, recover, and it's definitely going to make you feel better. Um, so with that, I'm feeling, uh, you know, I'm feeling like I got the sun shining on me. I feel beautiful. That's definitely another important factor of, uh, you know, that's, that's a beautiful way to spend a recovery day, man, getting that sun on you because... The sun's doing something, you know, the sun, you know, it's raising that vitamin D, keeping my skin glowing, my hair flowing, you know, and the blood, you know, just keeping it, you know, keeps, it keeps the meat hanging heavy, you know, you want it swinging at the knees, that's what I'm all about. The sun can actually help you achieve 
you know the, you know a bigger piece down there that can help you know the sun makes things grow so it will make you grow and that's a beautiful thing um so anyways man get at me i do skype sessions i'm gonna enjoy my uh, i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day i got my animals you know maybe i'll go for a run or something just hang out in the sun and enjoy this recovery man and just help you know harness in the growth and just feel beautiful and feel huge and you know something that i love man so i hope you guys had a beautiful experience hope to see you guys around and you know like i said get in my inbox follow my social media there's going to be a whole lot more to discuss you know this was just kind of an off the whim you know topic and i just you know i really the, the main thing to take away from this man is to just take it easy recover and then you're gonna definitely appreciate the days that you're in the gym going hard, man. Because that's what it's all about. You guys are beautiful. Hit me up, follow me on the social media, ring the bell, comment down anything that you like to do on your rest days. Tell me about, you know, any guilty pleasures that you like, you know, what you do when you're just vibing out. And you know, if you haven't, if you're just somebody that's new to the, the channel, new to working out, you know, tell me about you know how long it's been since you actually took a rest day or if you feel like you're taking one too soon too quick that's something that you should leave you know and get the comments lit up you guys are beautiful i'll be seeing you around peace